Following the devastating uh, explosion in Beirut on August 4th, 2020, BEMA was granted funds through the uh, UNESCO the Beirut Initiative to restore 17 damaged artworks uh, produced by famous Lebanese artists. The selection of the artworks includes paintings belonging to the BEMA uh, Ministry of Culture Collection, to the Grand Serai, to local art galleries and art collectors in Beirut. After the blast, um, we were confronted with a large number of uh, damaged paintings and other artworks. And um, the problem was that the country was in lockdown, so we couldn't immediately start with the restoration. Um, a large number of the paintings presented tears, and uh, we are using minimal invasive methods to mend the tears which means that we um, mend the tears under the microscope, thread by thread. We use reversible adhesives. This is really very important uh, for the future because if you want to remove uh, the restoration works, you can do it. BEMA, along with UNESCO, uh, took the initiative and offered their help in restoring some of the damaged work. I was lucky enough to have five pieces of my work restored by uh, BEMA slash uh, UNESCO.
transparent and very, very thankful about this first association between Reba, UNESCO and the Republic of Iceland in the context of the Relay Initiative, which was launched by UNESCO Director General, if you remember, Audrey Azoulay, uh, in the aftermath of the August 4th uh, explosion. This mission is the result of a strong collaboration, as was mentioned before, between UNESCO, uh, the Beirut Museum of Art in Iceland. Um, Iceland has been uh, one of the first, actually the first country who uh, responded to the call of Madame Azoulay, the UNESCO Director General, um, responded to the, uh, the call of the Beirut Initiative for culture. 